Hey, Tina, you're so clumsy. Hi, Mom. What did I do wrong? How many times did I tell you not to step into my kitchen? Every time you cook dinner, you always leave the kitchen so messy. I... I'm so sorry, Mom. But I remember that I had cleaned it very carefully. That's not what I see. You left the microwave oven door open. Inside the sink, there are still leftovers and a dirty plate. The floor is so sticky and full of scattered foods. You know doing that will attract cockroaches and rats, right? Are you going to scare me to the point of having a heart attack? I'm so sorry. I forgot to sweep and mop the floor. I'll clean it right now. I'm so sorry. Today I'm quite tired. The work is so stressful. I will go downstairs and clean it right now. Oh, I don't need you to clean. I finished cleaning it all up. If you come home and are tired from work, just go to the bathroom and rest. Do your skincare routine or hang out with your friends or do anything you want. I didn't ask you to come to dinner. What if people knew about this? They would tell me I bully my daughter-in-law. No, I never let anybody say a bad word about you. I just want to help you. You've stayed at home all day and taken care of my children for me. I think maybe you would be exhausted. So I wanted to cook dinner so you can have rest. I take care of the children not because of you. They're my grandchildren. I can't let you hire an unknown outsider to care for them. That stupid son always focuses on work and overtime at the company all night. Never seen him care about his family at all. You still insist on going to work with a very meager salary, even though I told you to stay home. That leaves only this old woman at home that does everything for you two. Um, mom, if you don't feel comfortable, I can do all the chores for you after I return home after work. No, cleaning the house is the only hobby left for me at this age, and you're going to steal it from me? <laughs> no, mom, that's not what I want. I just want to help you. Ugh, if you really want to help me, don't do any housework. I don't want to see you tired and sluggish like a zombie walking around the house to wash clothes or cook dinner. You're disturbing me. Am I clear enough? Yes, Mom. I got it. And one more thing. I saw you going shopping at the mall yesterday. What did you buy? Um, nothing much. I just bought some new clothes for the babies. Ah, I got a new dress for you too. I forgot to give it to you today. Anything else? Well, I also bought food, some snacks for the kids, and daily consumables. That's not what I asked. Did you buy anything for yourself? Um, yes, Mom. I bought some new dresses for me too. But they were all discounted by 50%, so their prices were very reasonable. So, how much did you spend? Um, a thousand dollars for baby's clothes, 650 for your dress, and 350 for the groceries. And, and a hundred dollars for my clothes. What? A hundred dollars? Oh, I can't understand the way you spend money. Oh my god, I can't believe I have a daughter-in-law like you. Are you going to make people laugh at me saying that I don't know how to teach my daughter-in-law how to spend money? Mom, I don't want it. This is the first time I bought new clothes this year, so I was spending too much. I'm so sorry. You have been my daughter-in-law for one year and still don't understand the family situation. I would like to confirm again, this family is very rich. We have enough money to burn. We won't go bankrupt if you spend money on designer clothes. So stop wasting money pointlessly buying things that look like tablecloth. I know that, but I don't feel comfortable spending money I don't make. You're so silly. Does that mean you don't consider me your family? No, Mom, that's not what I mean. Since my mother passed away due to illness, you've been the only person who's always by my side and 
has become my family. Even if people say you're harsh on me, I, I know you only want the best for me. Mm, don't try flattering me. If you really consider this to be your family, then pay attention to this family's honor. Change yourself. Become more presentable. And dress more stylishly. Don't you see that you've become boring since the day you gave birth and dress a bit shabbily? I hope you won't make the same mistakes I did in the past. Yes, Mom. I understood. But what mistake are you talking about? I'm sorry if this question is stupid. If you don't feel comfortable answering it, please just ignore it. Oh, don't worry. I will tell you, but maybe not now. Save it for later. Now it's time to go to sleep. Oh, right. Good night, Mom. Good night. Hello there. My name's Vanessa, and I'm your husband's secretary. And I got your number from your husband's phone. He saved your name in his contacts as the most wonderful woman. So you're definitely his wife, right? Well, I just wanted to contact you to say that I love your husband and I think he loves me too. So you should show your strength and step out of the picture so he can find his true love, which is me. Hello? Who is this? I think you must have the wrong number. I don't know anyone named Vanessa. But whoever you're talking to, it seems like you're trying to destroy a happy family. Who are you to send such a vulgar message to someone's wife like this? Have you no respect? Anyone who commits adultery to love you is truly blind. Aw, calm down. It's okay to be mad, you poor thing. You must be so devastated to be betrayed by your trusted husband like this. It's just the initial shock. Then it'll pass, and everything will be fine. You are all talking rubbish. You texted the wrong number. I know it hurts, but you shouldn't deny the reality. Let me say it again very clearly for you to digest it, okay? I've been working with Harry for eight months. We are a very good team. He's hardworking and enthusiastic when it comes to work. A perfect person like him deserves a smart, talented, and beautiful wife. But from what he told me about you, you don't seem to be what he wanted as a wife. What the hell are you talking about? Harry? My Harry? Are you losing your mind? He would never do that. <laughs> Not your Harry anymore. He recently often stays at the company and works until late at night. That's because he's by my side. He said you looked sloppy and ugly since the day you gave birth. And he didn't want to see you. Do you remember a month ago, there was a night when Harry didn't come home? That's because he slept with me. What? How dare he do that to me? Oh, I swear to God. I will kill him if this is true. I know this must be devastating to hear, but sweetie, that's the truth. I even took some lovely pics when we were together that night. Do you want to see it? Well, just accept that you've been discarded like an old dish rag. Oh, you little bitch! You listen to me and you listen well. Tell me the truth. If you dare to make up stories to destroy my family, I advise you to hide well. If you let me find you, you will definitely not live peacefully. <laughs> Whoa, you're really tough. I thought you'd be a weak girl who gave up easily. Mm, but unfortunately, it's all true. You know what's even better? I'm pregnant with Harry's baby, and it's a boy. I'm sure when Harry's mother finds out, she'll be overjoyed and kick you out of the house with your two daughters. Oh, really? Are you sure? Do you want to bet? Oh, whoa. You're more interested than I expected. <laughs> well, if Harry wasn't your husband, we'd become best friends, I guess. Oh, please, give me a break. 
We would never want to befriend a dishonest, sly, corrupt person who wants to destroy other people's families like you. So do you want to bet or not? <laughs> well, yeah. What do you want to bet on? We will bet if Harry's mother knew about you and your unborn baby, she would be over the moon and kick Harry's wife out of the house and bring you in or not. If you win, I will leave with my daughter and give you my place in this house. But if you lose, you will have to do everything I ask without objection. <laughs> you silly thing. Aren't the results already obvious? What mother-in-law doesn't want a grandson? All right, if you like, I'll play with you. Oh my God, I can't believe that 15 million dollar fortune will be mine. My hands will shake with joy just thinking about spending money like water. <laughs> oh really? I think otherwise, you little scammer. Hey, don't call me little. That's really gross. Besides, I'm sure Harry's mother will choose me as her daughter-in-law. A little bird told me she was a fastidious and snobby old woman. Isn't it true that you never pleased her with anything but always get scolded by her? But for me, it'll definitely be different. I will become the head of the family and make her pamper and serve me. Fastidious? Snobby? Old? You have a vile mouth. Aren't you afraid that if she finds out that you speak ill of her like this, she won't let you in? Why should I be afraid? Is she the one who should be afraid of me taking her grandson away? Oh, really? So now shouldn't we ask Harry's mother what she says to settle things? Oh, I didn't expect you to be so anxious. <laughs> All right, give me your phone number. I want to talk to her myself. And maybe it's time for this new daughter-in-law to say hello to her mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, you don't have to say hello to me again. I think we're pretty close already. Huh? What are you talking about? I need to talk to Harry's mom, not you. Oops, my bad. Sorry for not introducing myself. Hello, little bitch. My name is Jolie. And I'm not Harry's wife. I am his mother. What? How can it? Well, that's right. I'm that old, stupid, and fastidious lady that should feel scared and pamper you. No way. So why didn't you tell me right first? Hey, I have told you several times that you're texting the wrong number. But you didn't listen to me. Oh my god. I didn't know about it. But, hi mom. Oh mom, don't mind my words. I never meant to speak ill of you, my dear mother-in-law. Wait, wait. When did I become your mother-in-law? I never accepted you. Oh mother, don't mind those words anymore. I'm having a baby, and he's your grandson. So when are you going to take us home and kick the other three useless parasites away? <laughs> your grandson says he misses his grandma. Oh, really? I am glad that you mistook me for my son's wife today. It makes everything so much easier. Now I know what my decisions need to be. Yes, mom. She doesn't deserve a handsome husband and a beautiful mother-in-law like you. One more time, I ask you not to call me mom. It gives me goosebumps when I think about it. Oh, don't worry. You'll get used to it soon. But I'm really curious. Did Harry really say he loved you and would divorce his wife and marry you? Well, not actually, but... Whenever he had someone to confide in, he would come to me. And we would sit and talk for a long time. Didn't that mean he has feelings for me too? And we even had a baby. That day, Harry and I went to dinner with the customer and he drank a lot. I didn't know his address, so I took him to my house. And what happened? He kissed me. 
I pushed him away, but he said he was sick of his wife. I told him it wouldn't be morally right since he married, but I love him so much that I couldn't do anything more. I'm sorry, but I love him too much that I couldn't control myself. Oh, that sounds like a very romantic love. That's a shame, my dear. Thank you for being compassionate. It's a pity you weren't the author of some fiction books. What? I already know everything. When you were still talking about your imaginary love story, I sent someone to find out the truth. The truth? What truth are you talking about? I'm very serious. I even have ultrasound paper right here. Well, I didn't say that you're not pregnant. I want to say that the child is not Harry's and has no relation to this family. What? Are you going to avoid responsibility? You really are ridiculous. Why am I responsible for you getting pregnant with your ex and then lying about it being my grandchild? What the hell are you talking about? I still have those hot pictures from that night with your son. I can't tell if anything happened that night between you two, but I can tell that the baby isn't Harry's. We discovered that two months ago, you went to an antenatal clinic in a private hospital, and the pregnancy was two months old, not a month, as you said. So, what's the difference? It's just that I was too nervous, so I remembered it wrong. Harry and I have been together for a long time. But two months ago, Harry attended the foreign conference that whole month, and I saw the guy who ran the company. I also checked the schedule. You were still working full time. So when could you get pregnant with Harry? No, you're mistaken. This is Harry's son. And at that time, you still had a lover. The two had just broken up more than a week ago. Did he refuse to accept this child that you turned to trap my son? No, Harry definitely has feelings for me. He was always very kind and gentle with me. Surely it was because he was afraid of that stupid wife that he didn't open up to me. You must help me. You hate her too, don't you? Hey, you filthy rat. I forbid you to touch my daughter-in-law. If you dare to hurt her, I will definitely not forgive you. What? Why do you react so weirdly? She is my daughter-in-law. I will protect her till the end. Don't expect me to accept you in this house unless I'm dead. No way. This is not what I expected. But didn't everyone say she was harsh and scolded her a lot? I did it just to make sure she wouldn't get caught up in tragedy as I did. Tragedy? Before? After giving birth to Harry. I also neglected myself. A lot. Always wearing cheap clothes messy hair and always smelled of food. At that time, Harry's father also had a mistress, and she was also pregnant. But more desperate was that my mother-in-law hated me so much and joined forces with the mistress to chase Harry and me out of the house with empty hands. Your mother-in-law is a good example for you to learn from. Do as she did that year. Never. I was determined not to let tragedy happen again, especially to my beloved daughter-in-law. She always worries about everyone and always treats me very carefully and sincerely. She deserves a happy life. That's why I never want to let her do the housework or only care about the family without taking care of herself. But because of many years of building my career alone, I forgot how to show appreciation and only scolded her all the time. However, she was never angry. Ugh, I don't care about your life. You can make her divorce Harry, and then you can move out with her, and Harry and I can get married. See, everyone can be happy. Good dream, girl. But surely you won't be able to do anything, because Harry said he never loved you. What? Is Harry there? Hey, Harry. Why didn't you reply to my text? I miss you so much, my dear. Ugh. You are such a disgusting thing. 
He only said that while sitting next to you. I'm sure he loves me. You are cruel to forbid our love. I don't have time to sit here and listen to you talk about the illusion of love you created. Now I have to talk with my son. Oh, there's one more thing. From tomorrow, you will not need to come to the company anymore. You are fired. I'll have the security guard clean your stuff and leave it at the front desk and never step foot in my company again. If you dare to disturb my daughter-in-law, I will definitely make you regret it. What? You can't do this to me. You're such a witch. Come back here and talk to me. Harry, honey, please protect me. I love you, Harry. <laughs> Then I had a talk with Harry. He said he had no feelings for Vanessa and didn't do anything to her that drunken night. She rushed in and kissed him first, but he pushed her away and out of the house. But because he felt sorry for his wife, he avoided seeing Tina for this month. I feel so relieved that he is not like his father. We decided to talk this over with Tina. At first she cried a lot, but after she calmed down, she agreed to forgive Harry and my family was happy again. I also apologized to her for being too harsh on her. Fortunately, she loves me and didn't get mad at me. As for Vanessa, I heard she lost her job. She doesn't have money to live or pay rent. Tina knows that and says the baby is not guilty. So she helped Vanessa find a job as a cashier at the supermarket. However, a leopard can change its spots. She still lured male customers to buy goods and was reported to the store by the wives. Then, she was fired from her job again and had nowhere to hire her. <laughs>